One of New Zealand's fastest shearers, Sam likes to achieve peak fitness before a competition. So his whole physique, as well as his mind and gear, are tuned and ready. A tough competitor, but also a loving father, Sam and Debbie are the proud parents of their first child, Aroha. Sam is also dedicated to teaching young shearers, giving them a sound start. However, it will be many years before they match this shearer's fluid style and take part in the calibre of shearing we're about to see as round one of the grand final gets underway. Judges ready? Shearers ready? Get set, go! And they're underway in the first heat of the final. Colin King on stand one, Sam DeFodder on stand two. Roger Cox on stand three, Adrian Cox, no relation on stand four. Colin King. Consistent all the way through this contest, isn't he? Yes. So is Samson Tafara. They're the two leading contenders here. They were top qualified into the final. Colin King, top qualifier. Roger Cox coming in third slot. Sure, well on the final to get in. Adrian Cox, and he's been consistent all the way. The only South Islander in the field. But of course, we're starting from scratch, so those points that they received earlier on just don't come into contention at all by starting right from scratch. No, they've all been wiped and they're back to square one. Eight sheep to share in this heat. That's the first one out the door. That's a very fast time. Yes, very fast shearing sheep, please. Second shear, Perrindale. Roger Cox, he's got a little bit of a wriggler there. He's on stand three. Yes. yes. Last two or three seconds, it gets vital in this one. The pressure would be on these shearers now, wouldn't it? They'd oh. be the butterflies up there. No, the butterflies go once you get to shearing. Uh, a lot of butterflies before, though. There's Colin King, Adrian Cox. Adrian Cox is sitting at pretty good sort of a pace as he drops down into the long blow there. Colin King's chasing hard. There's Adrian has shown us right through the last four weeks that he can crack the pace along. Very fast shearer. We've seen him in competitions around the country. And he's right up with the pace all the time. And he's got two or three blows on Colin King at this stage. Adrian Cox, first in for number three. Out he comes, puts it down, sits it quietly. Colin King goes in. Sam DeFott is hitting the second spot. Yes, something must have gone wrong there with Colin. He just slipped back there just a wee bit. Sam putting the speed on. That's what it would be. Roger going along, keeping the job right. That's been his consistent ploy all the way through, hasn't it? Quality every inch of the way for Roger. He's a great job here, Roger. Three open wins at Golden Cheers to his credit. World champion in the initial world championships. Well, we should get an indication of how they're going. Two sheep have been shorn, and that's when they, we get our preliminary scoring. And Adrian down on the last side on sheep three. Roger steps up the neck, Sam DeFotter onto the last side, Colin King starting to move now, look at him coming down the last side on this one. Just a wee bit of a whoops there. Oh, doesn't want to sit still. There's a big and second, a second cut come off. Yes. Four comes out for Adrian. That's Colin out with his fourth one. Sam DeFotter's got the fourth one on the board. You can see where Colin was making a lot of ground, but he dropped back two or three blows on that, with that wriggle. Roger Cox. Polishing them. Look at him filling that comb up. Three and three quarter of inches and it's all being filled with wool. He brings the fourth one out. Sam DeFotter cheering along nicely. Dropping down into the long blow. And we see now with the computer scoreboard. Colin King with 12.16. Sam DeFotter 12.58. Roger Cox 12.46. And Adrian Cox 12.95. So nothing much in it at all is there? No, it's about 0.8 separating the field. So that's, uh, don't forget, that's only after two sheep. Here's Sam DeFotter and Adrian Cox. And uh, Sam DeFotter's actually hit the front. Then he goes in for number five. Adrian Cox, two blows to go. Colin King's got five on the board. He must have sprinted on that last sheep. Yes, he picked up quite a bit of time on it. Not much between him, one and two, and then four. Colin King over the tail, one, two blows, steps up the neck. Roger Cox has got five on the board. Adrian Cox dropping back a little bit on these, this one. 
you get a little bit of variation in the sheep too and that can cause you you shear the sheep as fast as you can shear it and make some it are stickier than others though and they uh, do take just that little bit longer That's there's right. the two leaders there now there's Samson Tafotter and Adrian, Adrian Cox and I think we'll find Colin King right up with away. the field Adrian's pouring it on on this one mustn't have been as good a sheep that last one He's gone back up into the front. There, Adrian Cox goes in and brings out number six. Sam DeFotter about two blows behind. Colin King goes in and brings out number six. A little bit of chopping and changing in the lead there. A close tussle. We're going to see a grandstand finish to this first heat. Roger Cox has got six on the board. And after five sheep, we see Roger Cox with 33.87. Sam DeFotter with 35. 0.35, Colin King with 34.07 and Adrian Cox with 34.49. Roger a slender lead there at the moment. But remember we've got three more sheep this year and a lot can happen. Sam DeFodder onto the shoulder. Adrian Cox is opening up a break there. He's about five blows ahead of Sam DeFodder as they scream down the last side. Look at those blows going in. They're controlling these sheep nicely and Colin King's hit the front. Colin King brings out number seven, Adrian Cox. The speedsters. He's got seven on the board, Roger Cox. But it's Adrian there on stand forward, taking the belly off, down over the first iron leg. Sam DeFotter, be on a par, takes the top knot off, steps up the neck, and Colin King, look at him going as he drops down into the long blow. Colin King in the long blow. Three short blows, three long blows, and one right over the tail. The idea of putting that one over the tail, so when you come down the last side, it makes it easier. On to the long blow goes Adrian Cox. You'll notice here, here. Oh, it's Colin King again. Down that last side. Finishing touches in Neil Ben for number eight. What a great finish we've seen from Colin King. He sat there with the field, and he's come with a big rush at the finish. Who's going to be in off? Second for the all game in for his last it's sheep. Adrian Cox. Sam DeFotter's got number eight on the board. Adrian Cox goes in now. Roger Cox down onto the shoulder. We see on stand three. That it's Colin King over the tower. Two blows. Steps up the neck as he steps up the neck. And look at those blows. Everyone Round counts. behind the head. The comb being filled up. Sam DeFotter's up the neck. Chasing hard, but he's not making any impression on Colin King as he drops down into the long blow. Colin King all the way. You'll notice that big blow over the backbone. Find that if you don't get that over there, it'll tickle the backbone of the sheep and it'll make it kick and wriggle a bit. There's no kicking and wriggling here. There's Colin no King goes down that last control. side. Adrian, Adrian chasing. Adrian's up onto the last side. Down onto the shoulder. But it's Colin King all the way. Sam DeFotter about three blows behind. Colin King. Sam DeFotter. And Adrian Cox about three blows behind that. There he goes. Adrian Cox. Roger Cox will be the last to finish. And he's got half the last side to do. Dave, a great first round. But I just wondered what happened to Roger. He slipped a wee bit behind there. Roger goes along quietly and then he comes at the end. Uh, he may require more sheep in a final of an eight. Why, he's, a, he's a, one of those shearers who's a bit slower to warm up, is he? Yes, he takes time to warm up and he's got a great finish. And we've seen him shear over more sheep and finish right up at the field. Right. And then as the heat went on, there were the three of them there really locked together. And then Colin King gradually pulled away. Is this another tactic? Is it, you know, you got a wee bit in reserve? Well, it's that again. It's the finish. It's like shearing in the shed with the last five minutes. It's really poured on. And Colin gave us a great finish here tonight. And Under here, I happen to have the results so far of that round, realising there's another heat to go. You're the expert. Where would you say the four are standing at the moment? Who's in front? Well, I may be putting my neck on the block, but I'm going to go for Colin King. And I would say Colin King is going to pull this one off tonight handsomely. He's sure beautifully. His job looked good. His speed and control was just magnificent. All right, Dave, you've certainly earned your place because, in fact, Colin King is leading at the moment with 52.5 points. Samson Tavotta is in second place, 54.13 points. Adrian Cox, 54.19. And Roger Cox, 56.04 points. So there's only four points between them, and we've still got another round to go. But before we do, let's have a look in more detail at our other two finalists, Adrian and Roger Cox.
The rugged hills of South Canterbury are home for our third finalist, Adrian Cox. He owns his own farm, running sheep and deer. Adrian's been shearing here for over 19 years, winning the Golden Shares, the New Zealand Fine Wool title, and many more. So how does Adrian Cox like to build up for a competition? Well, I like to be shearing under, you know, under pressure on the shed up prior to the competition. You can have that pressure, but go to the competition not feeling tired from the excess amount of work you've been doing. But uh, definitely to have the pressure, just to shear with the right guys in the, in, the, in the shed and have the pressure on you so you're up to that level. Oldest son Brendan captains the first 15, while daughter Donna leads the school netball team. The advice I give the, uh, the children is to look look at the opposition, look at them in the eye and say to themselves, well, I can outplay you. And if they keep that in their mind, they can beat them. Adrian's time is split between farming, shearing, leisure sports like fishing and the family. Like all our finalists, Adrian's a family man, and his family have all shared in his success. Faced with the opportunity to add another trophy to his prestigious collection, how does a champion like Adrian approach the round? What's his game plan? No, probably if I can get away to a good start and get my rhythm, find my rhythm, and uh, everything starts flying for me, then, then I'll have a good share. If I get away to a bad start and lose my rhythm and get out of, get out of balance, I'll finish you know, down the ladder a bit, but uh, no, I think if I can get away, get away to a good, get away to a good start, and find my rhythm is a big thing, and then I can settle into it. South of Mount Taranaki, near Harawa, is Roger Cox's farm. Years of hard shearing earned Roger this farm, a proud achievement by any standard. Always had an ambition to go farming. It's fairly hard to realise for a while. I was sort of shorn for about 13 years, and. A lot of those years were full time. For about eight of them, was sort of non stop. I was sharing over 60,000 a year, trying to scrape together enough deposit to buy a farm. About three years ago, I was lucky enough to lease a block of land off a guy, which um, gave me the experience for the uh, Royal Bank to uh, buy this place here. Most of Roger's time is poured into work and family. He's a quietly determined man who sets himself a goal and goes for it. In his 14 years of shearing, he's won the Golden Shares three times and won the first World Championship in 1977. But Roger's competition success was built on the hard slog and routine of day-to-day -day shearing, a routine few would envy. I get up about four o'clock in the morning and we usually go out to work and I get the cup of tea on for the boys. They have that about half past four. Then um, we start at five o'clock and we do five runs and that takes us through till five o'clock at night and usually home by about six. That's quite a long day. Farming sheep and cattle, Roger applies the same discipline that he developed shearing and will undoubtedly enjoy the same success. So this is the decider, eight sheep away from deciding the winners and seven minutes away from deciding that $5,000 first prize. The final of the Sunbeam World Masters gets underway. Here is ready, get that, go! Yes, eight sheep this year, and we'll find out who's going to win that $5,000 first prize and become the first Sunbeam World Masters shearing champion. Colin King, Samson Tafara on stands one and two, Roger Cox, Adrian Cox on three and four. A oh, little bit of a wriggle there, Colin King, Sam Tafara steps up the neck. Another eight sheep to be shown, very fast. We saw the first heat where they put them out in somewhere just over seven minutes. Adrian Cox down into the long blow, Colin King in the long blow, Sam DeFotter setting the pace. The tension must be really on them, Samson DeFotter getting a kicker there. Just the last thing he wants at this oh, stage. Look at that oh. one, Colin King. Oh, it's not, it's not happy at all. Down, oh, it goes again. He's losing a lot of time there. That's enough to throw a man out. That is bad. Sam DeFotter, oh, oops, and Colin. Was, was I supposed to see that? Oh, look what bad luck that is. You know, it's going to throw him, just throw him right out. If you 
can affect his job, affect his concentration, everything. Look at the time he lost. And the big second cut come off the top of the leg there. He was right up with Sam Defotta. And it's put him, what? His pace seems to have slowed. I mean, that has really put him off, hasn't it? Well, he had to try and settle that sheep and get on top of it. It just didn't want to be shorn down that last side. But in competitive shearing, it doesn't matter. The other shearers press on, I but guess. Adrian Cox is really pushing along. Well, that was where the pressure will be put on the column now. They saw that, the other boys, and they'll be really pouring into it. And we know Colin was in front at the end of the first round, and these other boys have got to make up a bit of time and a bit of leeway and make up points. Samson Tafata shearing beautifully. He's really peeling it off. But Colin King, great competitor. He'll settle down and settle back into it and try and pull these boys back. Sam Defotter, down under the belly. On his third sheep. Eight to shear. Roger Cox. He's going along a lot quicker in this heat. Adrian goes in. But Colin King, that one's... Still having trouble, isn't he? Yes, he's just not... They're just not settling. Maybe his gear's not cutting quite right. Maybe it's pulling a little bit. Sam Defotter, into the long blow. Cheering beautifully. He's been consistent all the way through. Lead the series at the start. Come through into this in second slot. There he is, onto the last shoulder. Under the shoulder he comes. Colin King dropping into the long blow. Starting to get with it now. Yes, he's really lifting his pace again. He's got to lift it. He's got two points, or well, very nearly two points on Sam Defotter, but at the moment Sam Defotter's picked them up in time. Fourth sheep. Roger Cox, finishing touches and then he'll go in. Roger's shearing a lot better this heat. We should have a progress score coming through any time now. Here's after two sheep. It'll be interesting to see how these boys are going. Scoring. Adrian Cox, he brought out number four. four. Sam Defot is dropping into the long blow. Roger Cox steps up the neck. And here we are with Roger Cox at 4.78. 13.87 to Adrian Cox, 13.24 to Sam DeFotta, and 13.50 to Colin King. So Rogers slender lead there at the moment. That's Five more sheep though. The polished job coming through. We'll get another progress report though before the end. And it's Roger down on the shoulder, but Sam is going to be the first in for number five. Changes a handpiece there, can't be happy with the cut. He's only shearing four sheep, shouldn't be able to shear more than that. But once the cut goes off, what do you do? You look for another handpiece. He's certainly picking up, but Colin King, I think, is coming back through. He's starting to pick the tempo up, but he's got a lot to make up. Colin King. Fifth one on the board. Sam Defotter steps up the neck. As you can see, he's quite a way behind there. Sam Defotter into the long blow, shearing beautifully. Roger Cox comes up the neck. Fast as he's shorn in the whole contest, I think he's really lifted his pace. Yes, he realised he had to lift it, he's got to make up some points. So you keep the job there also, Roger's a great job, Shearer. Sam Bifotta down the last Pouring side. Pouring it on. Pouring it on, is he? What? Adrian Cox slipping back a bit on this one. The pressure's starting to tell there, he's on the long blow though. And it's Sam Bifotta. First out with the sixth one, Colin King. He come onto the last side. Adrian Cox on the last side. Collins picked Adrian up and he's starting to forge it on now. And Roger Cox brings out number six. They'll all have their sixth one on the board in a minute. Adrian Cox, two blows to go and he'll be in for number six as Colin King puts it down and takes the belly off. Starting to pour it on, but he's got a lot to catch up to Sam Defotter. Virtually a half a sheep behind at the moment. Sam Defotter, six on the board, two left in the pen, up onto the head and down the last side. Not looking all that flustered yet, he's just concentration every inch of the way. Adrian Cox, up the neck, Roger Cox is on the long blow, but it's Sam Defotti making every post a winning post, he brings out number seven. Seven cheap on the board. Now who's his closest rival? Can Colin come back up again? It's Roger, under it's the Roger shoulder. Cox. Colin's chasing hard, but we just don't know how much it put him off and how many mistakes he made. When we had that kicking one, the first sheep. Roger goes in and brings out number seven. Colin's got seven on the... No, he changes the handpiece and goes in for number seven. It's another three seconds lost. You can ill afford to do it. Yes. It takes time to change, but you've got to have the cut there. You'll share that sheep quick if the gear is going right. Seven on the board, Sam Defotter up onto the head he comes. 
Adrian's got a little bit of a wriggler, cost him a little bit of time, but he's a little bit out of contention at the moment. Well, Sanchez and Tafata having the same trouble as Colin King. Is this Just what doesn't want to sit, does it? That's cost him three, four blows. All those three, four blows, they soon mount up. Three, four seconds. You can pick up. Look at Roger Cox flying down onto the shoulder. Under the shoulder comes Roger Cox. Sam DeFotter. He's about half the last side in front. Say about seven or eight blows at the moment. He's his eighth and last sheep. Sam DeFotter takes the belly off. Roger Cox goes in. He's about... Well, the belly behind. That's what it boils down to. You would have thought that that would have been the case. Yes. Colin King finishing touches in and he'll be in for number eight. Adrian Cox about four blows to go, but it's Sam DeFotter dropping down onto the shoulder. Roger Cox over the hind leg. One, two blows and he steps up the neck, but Sam DeFotter's not going to get caught here. As Roger comes up the neck, Sam's coming up on the long blow and up onto the last side. There he is, under the eye as Roger drops down into the long blow. Sam DeFotter onto the shoulder. Eight cheap on the board. Under the shoulder he comes. Every poster winning he screams down the last side Rogers on the last side but it's all Sam DeFotter what a great share this boy's put up Sam Lovely DeFotter oh beautiful not even sweating he looks happy Roger Cox comes down the last side great effort from Roger he sure them a lot quicker this time there he goes Roger Cox look at the, the sweat dripping off the end of the nose Roger Cox a great effort he would have picked up a point or two because his job would keep him there now, who's going to finish third? Colin King. By the look of it, isn't it? He's he lost, picked up, he's done well. He lost a little bit of time on this last one, but there's Adrian Cox. Finishing touches and they'll virtually finish together. There they go, Adrian Cox. There's Sam DeFotter, all smiles. Well, while we're waiting for those vital results, I'd like you to meet the manager of the Sunbeam Rural Division, David Hunt. David, what did you think of the contest? I thought it was tremendous, Frank. It was uh, well done right from the start. The, the first week where the uh, shearers got into the long wool sheep, they did a good job right through to the lambs and the fine wool and finally in the uh, final event here tonight. Yeah, it certainly it was, was exciting. Good. David, thanks for talking to us and I'll let you get away now and get ready to make those vital presentations. Thank you very much. We now have those vital final points. In fourth place, win over $1,000 with 112.47 points, Adrian Cox. Adrian Cox from the South Island. Sure, consistent, and deserved to make this final here tonight. In third place, the winner of the $1,500 check with 109.48 points, Colin King. Colin King. One wonders what would have happened if that sheep hadn't have kicked on him in that second final. Second place. Winner of $2,500 with 108.56 points, Roger Cox. Roger Cox picked the tempo up in the second heat of the final, come up to second place. And in first place, the winner of the sculpture and the $5,000 check, 107.44 points, Samson Tufata. Samson Tufata, sure consistently threw out. What a proud moment it must be for Samson. Well, it's been a grand contest, and just before we go, I'd like to thank everybody who's been involved. The competitors, the judges, the wall hands, and the sponsors, and all who have helped in those special features. Let's hope that we'll see you again next year for the Sunbeam World Masters Sharing Challenge.